The shadow feature returns to Windows Server 2012 R2. I'm Mike Garns, a program manager with the RDP team, and I'll give you a quick overview of the shadow feature now available to server administrators. Shadow can be used to monitor users or provide quick and easy help desk assistance. Imagine you are a user logged onto an RDP session struggling to accomplish a task. Using Shadow and a simple call to your help desk, an IT technician can quickly and easily take over your session to fix things. New in Server 2012 R2 is Server Manager Integration. From the RDS collection, select the session you wish to shadow. If you select View, what the user does will be shown on your screen. If you select Take Control, you'll be able to interact with that user session. It's possible to have multiple shadow sessions open simultaneously. Here you'll see I'll open up a second shadow session. And in a moment, you'll see that I have two sessions being shadowed simultaneously on this server. You can also invoke shadow from the command line, but with server 2012 R2, it is now integrated into the remote desktop client. No need to first TS into the server. From an elevated command prompt, run qwinsta to see a list of the sessions available to be shadowed on your server. Then run mstsc slash shadow, along with the session ID you want to shadow, and any other optional shadow parameters, such as no consent prompt. After doing that, you'll be able to shadow that session. Run mstsc slash question mark to see a list of the common shadow parameters available. Shadow is controlled by group policy. By default, it is set to full control with user's permission. If set to require user's permission, when an administrator shadows a session, the user must give their consent to be shadowed. Use gpedit to manage shadow group policy. Group policy can be set either at the computer or user level. It's located under administrative templates, Windows components, remote desktop services, remote desktop session host, connections. If you open this up, you'll see the five different levels available. New in Server 2012 R2 is shadowing of virtual machine-based desktops, improved auditing in the event log, and multi-mon and smart sizing support. I hope you enjoy the streamlined monitoring and help desk workflow of the Server 2012 R2 shadow feature.